Hi! So in the last video I was talking about how I was going to do a little mini art vlog. So this is kind of what it's going to be. I'm just going to talk about all the art supplies I brought with me and then what I'm currently working on. So please tell me if you guys would like to see more of this type of video. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay, so this is my desk. Um, this is where I'm going to be making most of my future speed paints. So you guys are going to have to become acquainted with this uh, placemat thing and this desk. So let's get into what I brought with me. So my art supply drawer is really unorganized. So I just threw everything in here. It also had a random thing of bubble wrap in here before, but I took that out. So let me take out my speaker. Okay, so in here I brought my heat gun because I have to. That's what I use to make my uh, keychains, which I'll show you in a bit. I brought my watercolors, of course. So here are my koi watercolors. And I just got a thing of combine gouache because I was playing around with the uh, acrylic gouache as you can see here so basically it's like acrylic based gouache so I'm just playing around with those um, I'm not really too familiar with the more opaque mediums so that's why I'm trying to introduce myself into it using um, I guess the closest thing to watercolor I brought my colored pencils because after that video I just made, um, sorry if the light is really bright, after I just made this one I was like, I kind of miss my um, colored pencils, I want to use them more, so there, those are. And then I have my electric set markers. So I decided not to bring my Copics with me because I don't have that many refills at all for my Copics and I generally don't even use markers anymore either, so that's why I just decided to bring these and use them up. So I got this case, it's a wallet from eBay, I don't remember which seller, it was a while ago, but I got this for $15 and it fits 72 markers. So yeah, this is how I have them set up, so I just stuck some extras in here. So there are my flex markers and then my pro markers and all that jazz. Um, I'm not going to show you all of them because it's just the same thing. Basically they're just little flaps and it looks like a huge binder. Okay, let's see. Oh yeah. And these are my whole bind watercolors. I just squeezed them in here in this palette. I got this from Amazon for... I don't know, I think I got it for $7, $6, something like that. So I just stuck all the colors in here. And these two are Van Gogh watercolors. And this fits uh, 22, no, 24 watercolors in there. Okay, then nothing else special in here. Um, in this little Hello Kitty bag, I just have some. Uh, it's not opening. Okay, well, I have Retroset markers in here. That I couldn't fit in the case, so colorless blender and all that jazz. And over here, I have the rest of my markers, uh, my Copics that I use a lot, my brushes, fine liners, and all that. If you want to know what they are, you can just watch my art supply video because I have all of them listed. And then I just have some packing stuff, sharpener, Mod Podge, uh, some pliers, and yeah, that's pretty much all there is in there. So then on my desk, I have, as you, as I said, that. And I have this little pencil case, which I used to keep my um, pencils and erasers and stuff in. And I got this from H&M for like a dollar. And yeah, that's pretty much all the stuff I brought with me. So let me just move this, like push it onto my bed. I'm lazy. I don't feel like putting it back. And I also believe that I tore another muscle in my back. Um, when I say another, that means it's I've had a ripped or torn muscle in my back before. And it's nothing new. 
happens all the time because I'm like a tiny person and then I have a huge ass backpack. It's not fun. And sorry if you can like hear me breathing or if I'm breathing heavily. That's why I keep making pauses. That's because it's really hot here. See that fan? That fan is not helping. It is way too hot in here. It's humid and it's horrible. Okay, so now on to other things. Yeah, over there is just my lipsticks and stuff. And here are some more keychains. So that's actually what my current project is. I'm working on all of these keychains, as you can see here. And on Instagram, I keep saying, oh, I'm gonna open my store soon. And I just keep saying that, but it's not happening because one, I have to design the storefront. So on Store Envy, you have, uh, it's kind of like your channel art for YouTube. So it's like that opening thing that when you go on you're like huge ass picture so that's what it is I have to make that and then I also have to get all of these sealed so here's one of them yeah my camera is not gonna focus I don't know why it just doesn't automatically focus on its own but that's Tuka and I also have Chibi Talia um, I'm, keep I'm keeping them in these types of bags so that they don't get damaged or dirty or something. And yeah, I just threw it. Well, that's because it's plastic, so it's fine. It's hard plastic, so it's not like anything flimsy. Here's Sasaki. So these are all I'm selling at the moment because I'm, I don't have any other designs that I made and I don't have time to design anything new. So there's Holy Roman Empire. And then over here is Toka in a teacup. So look forward to that. Oh, and also, speaking of this Toka, I have a Kaneki one coming up. And I'm sorry if you guys are not, like, Token fans, but this is just what I want to do. So maybe in the future I might do a high demand thing, but here I have Kaneki in the making. So a lot of you have asked me how I make these. Um, the process is kind of annoying. So you can just look up um, shrink charms or shrink plastic keychains or whatever tutorial and it definitely should pop up because that's exactly what I did. So it prints onto this plastic like this and then you stick it in the oven and in my case since I don't have an oven I'm just using my heat tool here. And if you're not familiar with like heat tools and stuff or you're too young I do not recommend using this because you can get burnt easily. So yeah, I just stick it in the oven and it turns out that size. So it's just gonna be Kaneki and Toka, so cute. And speaking of that, actually, um, for those of you who saw my pairing art on Instagram, PG World, uh, DeviantArt, and Tumblr, that's actually based off of day one of Token Week, so you can kind of see the resemblance there, except He's not holding the umbrella. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the keychains. That's what I'm working on. And once they're finished, they get this little um, bell on them and then a lariat or a lanyard, whatever you want to call it. And this is just my Chibi Talia that I kept for myself. So I guess I can just show you some of the drawings that are in here because this is an art vlog after all. I'm sorry if the camera's shaking or I keep hitting it or something. So that's just day one of Token Week. And this is just something I didn't show anyone. Yeah, most of it's just Token stuff or Tosaki stuff. It's so, so difficult. Blank page. Seemingly blank page. Um, I was reading Gangsta and I was wondering what Alex would look like with short hair, so I just drew that. Um, I was watching Spice and Wolf. Don, my favorite. Some random girl, probably during class. I wouldn't be surprised. And then I did one of the um, Ask My OC thing. I just do those whenever I have nothing to do on Instagram. I probably should get back to that. Here's one of them that I didn't post. This one I changed into this. So if you want to look at the larger, higher resolution ones, then you can just go over to Instagram, random guy, and then Uri from 
to be a ghoul really. I freaking love him. At first, he annoyed the hell out of me. Like, I hated him. Well, now I, like, love him in a weird way. Like, it's a love-hate relationship. And then, this I just drew during, I think, World Civ. I don't know. One of those classes. The starting of a guy, and then this girl. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Nothing too special going on here. Um... Anything else I really need to talk about? Yeah, I just have like a bunch of random stuff on my desk. As you can see, it's a mess on here. I have this little elephant pencil bag thing. And some Mod Podge. And my books. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Tell me if you guys enjoy these types of random ass art vlogs or just regular vlogs. And yeah, have a nice day. And... Have fun at school. Bye.